I don't know if this thing can ever work. Free flowing, sailing with the wind, not knowing how this story ends. Kind and brave, I know you'll find a way. Live your truth. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my camper series. So exciting, so fun. We're gonna get into so much stuff today. We're gonna fix everything. I'm joking. <laughs> Not so much fun. Lots of frustration in me wanting to set this thing on fire, but I can't. I spent too much already. Too much time has been invested into this. So we are gonna continue on through all of the problems we keep coming across. I started reattaching the canvas after cleaning it and stuff. I'm not gonna get into the details of the stuff I'm doing right now because it's literally so boring. I got a new window knob. I'm gonna replace that today and feel like I made some progress on something. Cause like with these things, my confidence is not at its highest. I'm doing this alone right now. I'm so excited though. Someone got me a sink or a faucet for my wish list. As I've mentioned before, this is going to be adventure theme, kind of rustic, maybe a little bit. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. But I found this on Amazon. It's a very lightweight faucet. And the one that's on there now is so ugly. This one definitely has a better vibe to it. And it is plastic and it's very cheap and lightweight, which is good because we want to keep this a lightweight camper. I got so many tools from my wish list. I'm so grateful. So, 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 so. I say so too much. Today, what I'm going to do is use this, which I got from my wish list, and finally try and fix the back corner, if you can see behind me. It's very bad. <laughs> and use this to somehow patch it. I've never really sewn too much. So I had my sister and my cousin come help me briefly to try and reattach the canvas. I don't know what the problem was. It didn't, it would, it felt like it shrunk. What we did was lowered this and I held it while they pulled it up and attached it. And then I slowly put it back up and it didn't rip out. Like I said, we'd redid the whole roof and I'm like, did we get the dimensions wrong or something? Like what's going on? Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. You think something's gonna be so simple, so easy, like the easiest thing and it boosts your confidence when you actually fix something? No, the simplest of things, the simplest of things, nothing actually gets fixed. I was hoping, you know, I could open the window. No, I can't. Let's move on to the next issue. <laughs> I had to retake apart this and take all the tape off, which took a while. But this is the hole in the canvas. And I need to take this off so I could also repair. It's all damaged here as well. This corner is just miserable. I'm gonna clean this off a bit and then um, try and patch repair it. I don't know, whatever this is, is different than normal canvas. This is like vinyl or plastic or something. So I don't know if this will work, but use what I got. So that took a really long time, but we made a little progress, I think. Now this could have, this can totally have been a huge failure, but it's not for me because I'll tell you why. I spent hours with my sister doing this because one had to be on the outside and one had to be on the inside. And I learned how to use the all thing for sewing like leather and stuff. So I learned how to use that, which is great because that's a good skill to have. And this could work. Um, so we put a canvas patch on here and then I attached it under here too. And then I'm gonna also put canvas tape that's waterproof around the seams of it. So the whole hole that is here is no longer, this is unsightly, but we also were able to get this screwed up. It's very tight and shrunken, but we're doing the best we can with what we have. The main thing was is to get this thing and have like cohesiveness right at this corner even if, you know, whatever. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try and waterproof it and kind of caulk it till it's n no longer can be caulked. And hopefully that does something. If it doesn't, at least it looks a little bit better, but 
the tape and stuff wasn't doing it any favors. That's the little patch. Now I'm gonna tape it up. Okay, so I know some people are probably gonna say this. I could have brought the canvas all the way to the top. And I realized that after we started stitching it, um, there's a lot of different things to think about when you're doing things. <laughs> and some things just slip your mind. So we could have brought it all the way up, but we didn't. So that is the patch. That's the patch on the outside. As you can see, I caulked a little bit. I'm gonna recalk whenever I get some non-leveling caulking because I only have the leveling stuff and doesn't work as well. So I just need to keep redoing that side. But that's what we got accomplished today, which was a big deal. It was really stressing me out. And even if that doesn't work, I'm still glad of what I've learned and getting to spend time with my sister because she helped me. With the window thing, I put some, um, some WD-40 on it. But that thing is stuck. It's not even the plastic's fault. It's the knob is completely frozen. So I'm gonna have to have some man or something pull that loose, I don't know. It's not a big deal, I don't need to open the window. But getting going, it's gonna rain in like two days. So I'm gonna finish screwing up the um, canvas and putting up the ceiling. Another day, another mistake. <laughs> Just kidding. I feel my confidence has raised since doing that corner. I really hope that it works. I'm gonna get some wax maybe to waterproof it a little bit. So I got some of this Flex Seal stuff. It's liquid rubber. My plan was to spray this on the ceiling, not all of it, but the places that are gonna be kind of gapped. There are some gaps in the side of, of these, these panels. These panels right up here, as you can see on the sides, there's some gaps. Someone said, since they're kind of drop ceiling panels, that things will get in the raised or the lowered parts. And I'm like, I didn't consider that. That is true, but bugs are gonna get in where bugs are gonna get in. You know, there's dirt that falls down and stuff, but in all honesty, this stuff is gonna be there anyways, because I mean, look at my ceiling. It's not very pretty, <laughs> but I considered that. I'm like, hmm, I could possibly put in some, a little bit of expanding foam in, and that also might help seal it more to the ceiling and also give it a little insulation. So I thought that might be something we can try. And this is like a slop job type of thing, but it's just gonna be in the pieces where, I just wanna see what it looks like. We're just gonna try it, okay? We're just gonna try it. Oh God, okay, that's what's a bad idea. This is trial and error. I only learn by doing things and making mistakes. The, th the thing about this is I'm going to repaint everything. I also got um, this ceiling paint as well to spray in between the panels. So I'm going to try that too. This is experimentation, baby. Hey, that looks pretty good. Uh, kind of. It's not too bad. I mean, that's not beautiful, but it's better than it was. It's a bit of an overcast day today. It did rain a little bit. I don't think it's gonna rain anymore, but I don't really wanna be gluing stuff up whenever it's kind of like wet-ish out. So I'm going to do a little side project that I can do that's a little bit creative. I took the table out, which this wood design that they have on it, this contact paper, it looks awful just because it looks so fake. Oh, there's leaves everywhere. It's fall time. I can't believe that September is almost done. I'll show you the very quick progress of the ceiling. Let's see if we can get it. But for this back half, I was thinking that I don't want to lose even a half inch off of the ceiling because this is, a, you know, when you get up in the morning, you bang your head. <laughs> so I don't want, like these are dropped. So there is a little bit of losing a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of headspace. So for that back, I ordered some foam that I hope will work. So we'll try that out. Put in expanding foam. And this is the pest block one. And I put it around in here a little bit. And what I also decided to do is kind of like a alternate, instead of having them, I didn't want them like straight lined up. I didn't want them straight lined up. No, it just kind of happened that way. I decided each one I'm gonna like move to the side to give it kind of a cool pattern instead of just, why not? It's my home. I can do whatever I want. Wish list, so much tools. So grateful. It is a mess in here. Done. <laughs> this 
this is a lot of hard work i am telling you like my neck hurts so bad and the way that this roof is there's no ideal way to attach some to glue stuff to it so it is so much little also i cut that out wrong but there's an attachment that goes over that anyways so this has been a lot of work just to do that or further back that I go the, the roof is just so uneven so all the corners and stuff don't stick right so I have to like glue it in just the right way and push it and blow yeah. I, mean, I want to do a little demolition you know what I mean I want to but it, it doesn't work like that you have to do things in a process let's see what's going on down here as well so many ants everywhere in this video I want to hook up the electricity and actually test it to see if it works so that's what we're going to get into my brother-in-law is going to come over one of these days this week and help me do that because he knows about that stuff we're going to test out and see what actually works in this camper because I've not tested the propane I've not tested electricity I've tested none of the appliances the fridge and I'm really hoping that those things work I need something to work in this I also ordered some new light fixtures so hopefully we'll put those up as well <laughs> Let's see what's the deal with this. As you can see, they kind of just, yeah, they basically put a rug on it. So I can just get a rug, a new rug. They stapled it on. Just get these staples off and put in a new rug. It's just a piece of ply, plywood. Everything is so cheap in here, I tell you. The behind the scenes things in there. So now is the time that we're going to try and attempt to hook up the electrical. I have my brother-in-law helping me do this, so I'm not doing it by myself. I don't actually know anything about electrical. I know the stove is propane, so I'll do that later. Also, I got the other foam for the ceiling. I'm going to try to put this up instead of the drop ceiling because that stuff is getting way too hard to work with. Like, it's a pain because of the sloping and the unevenness of the ceiling. So we're going to try this. I need to get another one if this does work, but it's kind of expensive. Got some new lights. These are going to be the, the new lights that we're going to potentially put in if we can figure this out. We plugged it in and we have some of it like hooked up. So we're gonna see what happens. We could blow the whole thing up, I'm not sure. But this light is supposed to turn on. Are you gonna push it? No, but let me see if I can turn this on. Nope. I'm sure there's some other step we're missing. So we're gonna turn on she's here, see if this does anything. That's scary. Oh look! We have light! <gasps> Yay! We have light! I don't know about the fan. Oh wait, the fan's not Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, but we have light! Alrighty. Okay, we just needed to switch that on. No electrocution. We're gonna try out the fridge now. And this panel right here is for the fridge. It can switch between propane and electricity. So I'm assuming if we turn on it to 120 volts right here, it should turn on the fridge and see if that works. I don't know how to tell. I mean, it's not making any noise. Let's just let it sit and see if it gets cold. I don't know if these batteries work or not. <gasps> yes! But now it's making a weird noise that I'm concerned about. I won't stop. I didn't even close it. Did you push that? Okay, so we're putting up the lights now. We had to go to the store to get, I don't know what these are called still, little plastic twisty things is what we're calling them. I'm going to display these. Okay, so you want the wires to hold hands. Crush and twist. light is wired now and we'll do that with all three lights. And the last step is to just put some electrical tape on it to make sure extra safe. Look at that. Okay, see it turns blue, 
But also another feature is if you turn it on and you hold it in, I can tell in here, but it dims and brightens. Look how bright that gets. That's so cool. Good morning. Well, this could dictate whether it's a good or a bad morning for me. It heavy rained, heavy, heavy rained. So this is the moment of truth. I, um, I did close the whole top down. We're gonna go in and see if it leaks. I think it does still have a leak. <sighs> Sorry, I just woke up, I'm tired. This still has a leak. We need to halt everything else and figure that out. feeling things. I do need to raise it to go look in that corner over there. Also, good news, the fridge works. These lights work and the fan, I'm not sure about actually. There could be an issue going on with the fan because it did turn itself off and kind of makes a little electrical noise. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. There's a leak. I found it. I got my hopes up. Right here. There's water coming in. Oh, right here. Oh, my heart just sank. I'm gutted. I'm so gutted. I'm so gutted. I caulked and caulked and caulked. This part that's discolored is also like wet. It's gonna be raining the next like four days. I can dry it off and like try and recalk things over there. But, like I'm so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. This is so dumb. This leak has started after we had done the roof stuff. So it's gotta be these stupid, stupid screws my dad put in, which I'm so mad about. I don't even know why that was done. And now I have to like go over and recalk all of them just to make sure. I I'm, I'm afraid to even look in that corner over there because it's possible that could be bad there too. I kind of found where one of the bigger leaks is, but then I went around the whole canvas. I lifted this up and felt around the, all the sides of the canvas and it was all damp. I found another droplet over there and another droplet over there. And I'm so discouraged and I'm just so frustrated. Like how is, I don't know if this thing can ever work. I've put my life into this, <laughs> all my money, everything. How is it, st it's so. Uh... I discover <clears throat> a little gap in the caulking, just a tiny little <laughs> That was causing the biggest problem over here that I noticed immediately. It's really hard to find where they're at, but those types of droplets, they do tons of damage over time. So I'm, my new plan is like, I'm lifting it up, airing it out, letting it dry, and then I'm going to <laughs> recalk it again. I'm gonna caulk in that place. I, so I had been using leveling caulking because it's all I had, but I got this stuff off my wish list. Thank you. And this will be a lot better than the leveling caulking because this stuff I can like just put everywhere and it won't drip down. So hopefully if I do another layer of that around, <laughs> I didn't consider when I got this camper that there would be this much water problems. I, I'm fine with other pr issues that are, water problems are the hardest things to solve because it, it's so like hard to find. And I know a lot of campers have that issue. And in my mind, I'm like, whenever I can afford it in the future, maybe getting a van would be a better idea because they don't leak, you know, like campers always leak. I've never experienced a camper because I've always been in old gross campers. I just see this as not practical. It's it's a silly little silly thing. We're gonna have to fix it, obviously. Like I've already come this far. I can't just give up. I want to set it on fire, but it probably wouldn't even burn because it's so damp. <laughs> but a couple drops can do serious damage over time. It's from the sides of the roof cap. If there's a camper company out there that is a truck bed camper, please give me one that's new. <laughs> I, really, I would really love that. I have so much hate for this camper that if I gave up, uh-uh, uh-uh. It won't do that to me. It's not getting away with that. Another day. I wanted to start painting today because the next 
week or three days or four days or something, it's gonna just be raining and raining. I started tearing stuff up because it was it was um, rumpled. And you know rumpled means water was in there. So it did rain recently and I started taking it away slowly and realized this whole board right here is wet and stinks. And then I'm like, well, if it was rumpled there, is this kind of rumpling? Which I'll probably have to tear that up too, maybe. I don't know, it's not as bad. It was rumpled here, so I'm like, okay. And then I found the wet spot there. So I went along the outside and be like, where is this water coming from? Because it's specific areas. And yeah, so I tore that up, recalked it again. I can't, I don't know how many times I've recalked this, but every little line, every little dot, every little screw I've caulked <laughs> twice. <laughs> and um, yeah, so, I mean, it doesn't phase me now. This is expected at this point. It just feels like I, every time I try to do something, I find more water damage and can't proceed. Yeah, you can see how terrible that looks. I knew that this corner was a little bit bad, but yeah, it got worse once it rained more, so. But I put up the foam and it actually worked great. So that is one good piece of news that that worked amazingly. I'm, I ordered the other one and it'll be coming in the mail and I'll just do like a trim piece here and then the ceiling will be pretty much done. But somebody got me a ladder off my wish list, which has been very useful for the amount of caulking that I've been having to do. Well, I just cleaned all the mold and mildew kind of off the boards. I'm gonna let that set to dry. And uh, hopefully just, obviously you can't clean the inner layers of the boards, but at least it's a little cleaner. And I caulked the outside, so hopefully it'll dry. And then I can assess the situation. Later in the meantime, I'm gonna take off all of the hinges of the drawers to paint them eventually. The whole screw just fell apart, and this one did too. Damn. And um, let me take you inside and show you what I've been reupholstering. These were the back cushions. Very ugly, very stereotypical, like 2000s RV style. I reupholstered the big one. My idea here, like I said, it's gonna be adventure themed. So I got a map. It wasn't quite long enough, so I had to kind of splice it in, but I got America on there. Secure that to the back and reupholstered these other two. So that'll be the back of the dinette table seating arrangement. I did do the table as well, but it was a massive fail. That one worked out a little bit better for me. I'm I'm not really good at DIY, but I have to, so. Um, I think I might do something else with the table, but for the time being, I put different contact paper on it, make it look more marble and more, the wood just looks so dumb because obviously it was so unrealistic, but obviously this is too, but it was just really hard to do. So I don't know if I'm gonna use this or not. I'll use it for the time being. I'm getting real creative with this thing. Okay, so it started it's the rain today and I came out here in the morning Drip 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 after caulking it like I said five different times. I showed you how much I caulked Still dripping, but the good news is is that the other areas that I caulked and everything Actually stayed dry. The only area was this this area over here once again Which is where all of it is and I realized that this Camper is on a tilt right now because the ground's a little uneven. So all the water runs off this side. That's why it's accumulating so much and I still don't know where it's leaking, but I put a piece of plastic up while it was raining on a certain section and it, that stopped the leaking. So I know that it's in a certain section right there. And I just need to just, I'm just caulking everything in that section. Hopefully that takes care of it. Um, so I'm a little bit hopeful, even though, you know, it didn't exactly work perfectly. This corner was really wet, so I wanted it to dry out and I scrubbed it. I removed all the mildew and any mold or anything, cleaned it, and this morning it was still drying. So it was pretty much dried back out, which means that it didn't get more water damage from the rain. So I then decided, hmm, how am I going to seal this back up? Because it's not going to be flush with the wall and you can't use plaster because plaster will crack. With campers, you always have to think about it's been like it's flexible everything has to be able to move without cracking <laughs> so i got um like just a cheap caulking thing at walmart interior exterior blah 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 
and I just used that because I knew I needed to use the whole thing and I used it as a place of plaster and I don't know if this is going to work or not um, but that's what I just did right now so I sealed it up as best I could just to make it a little bit more flat because I'm going to put primer over all of this and then paint over top of it so also the backrest is going to be here I'll probably put like a plant or something there so you shouldn't be able to see it too much I got finally my next piece of my last piece of foam to finish right here and then I got some this is all very this is kind of creative to be honest I'm feeling a little bit more encouraged because there's only one more leak that I need to fix hopefully until the next one pops up but um so I got this trim to put up as a line along here and I know I keep wearing the same clothes but it's because I'm working with so much caulking glue um mildew remover and paint and stuff like that that I need to keep wearing these stained clothes because I don't want to ruin all of my clothes during this I cannot believe how well this foam actually worked oh that's perfect perfect size. I had to get more of this Loctite glue. I went through over six bottles of this stuff for gluing up the thing. This one, unfortunately, it had a big crack in it. So uh, we lost this one because when I would push it, all this up would be like... I just want to be sure that everything just is secure and stays. wrestling with this ceiling like I didn't win it won and then I also ran out of glue so I had to drive all the way to Home Depot which took like 45 minutes to do never enough never enough I'm finishing this today I feel like this video has gone on a really long time and I don't even know what's in it anymore. <laughs> I keep like thinking that I've fixed all the leaks and then all of a sudden I find another leak and another one and another one and it's, I can't even express how discouraged, oh no is it starting to rain? I just painted. Now trust the process. I finished the ceiling. This is prime priming. This isn't the paint. I'm just, I primed everything. I'm going to, you know, choose the colors and stuff I want to do later. Maybe some of it will be white. Maybe some of it will be colors. Maybe some of it will be contact paper. This area still needs to dry. Found a new leak in this area. Strip right here. Um, I'll probably put another um, piece of trim. And I don't want to keep giving you guys discouraging videos. I think after this, I need to like take a break. I just need to go, <laughs> but I can't because it's going to rain and rain and rain. I want to end this video with um, showing you my lights that I put up. You gotta count the small wins, right? I actually haven't tried the outlets. Let's try that. Oh, I'm nervous. <gasps> yes, <laughs> it works. <sighs> I'm hoping things will go faster because I think I might have some more help coming in soon. the whole done ceiling. That has been this video of whatever this has been. I don't, like I said, I don't even remember. We're going to end this video here. Stay tuned for the next one. I think the next video, I need a break. I need to go and do something other than being in this camper. I don't know what yet. I need to get out and like go and camp somewhere by myself or something. Stay extraterrestrial. Thank you for joining me on the adventures and misadventures. 